Hey people, this is DBM and welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Rip Those Rage for the PS1. And this is what happens when you get to the end of a level. Spyro, thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. Yep, I cleaned off the disc and uh, it seems to be working pretty well so far. And I really hope it stays this that way. This portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the homeworlds of Avalar. Yes, it will. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was, I remembered what I was going to say in um, uh, Kingdom Hearts, the last one I recorded. Um, I was going to say that I haven't been, uh, I haven't been doing any grinding between videos by, um, and by that I mean, um, oh, no. yeah, I'm recording it. Uh -oh. oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi, I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, what? you dork. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you dork. Did you meet the gym cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. There are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's going to help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look. There's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismen? If you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. Maybe not lunchtime, but yeah, I was saying, um, I haven't been doing grinding outside of videos in Kingdom Hearts, which means, like, I haven't been, uh, just going off, um, fighting enemies to gain levels. I've just been, all the enemies that I've been fighting, I have fought on screen so far, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, yeah. So what? There's like only 14 levels. I don't, I never really noticed that. Oh, you can swim in this game too. Don't worry. And later on, uh, you can go to uh, find um, what's his name? Eli Roth. Hang on. This is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. What was I saying? Something about Eli Roth. Yes. Um, was he the guy who played the, the bear Jew in that movie? I think so. He's also a director. He's cool. He, I think he did ho uh, not hostile. Something. Oh well. But yeah, collecting way too many gems, and here's that idiot. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press. Yes, I know how to glide. Yes, I did. I glid, glide, glided, glowed. Um, I, I did glide across it. Who? What is up with my commentary here? I'm not sad. I'm not flipping spacing out. I'm not doing. What am I doing? What is going on here? I don't have anything to talk about or what? This is boring. Let's uh, let's keep it snappy here. I can't. Okay. 
My hands are a little bit too sweaty to snap at the moment. After I get a couple more gems and talk to this freaking moron. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try Ooh. putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press. Oh, that's an insult. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to learn how to okay, swim in this bad. video. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press. Yeah, I know how to glide. Okay, done. Nice job. Now try to do Thank a hover. You. Press X. Yeah, okay. Oops. You know what? He doesn't just, like, start from where he was. No, he goes back to, like, the beginning and flipping tells you how to do it all again. Or at least this one to over. Hover. Yes, I know. I just fell. Triangle no longer um, makes you just drop. Very yeah. good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. Spyro's like, what? The D-pad or analog stick? What are you on? You're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't Thank lost you. my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. Hey, thanks. He's just, like, standing there with his mouth open. Okay, cool. I can't remember whether he's in the third one or not, but I'm pretty sure he is. Alright, let's talk to Moneybags here. Oh, snap. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Wow. 500 gems. Golly. I need to go into a world before I can swim. And I hate this one with a passion. I hate you. So I'm not going to go in that one first. The first world I will Sparks, enter. Okay. The dragonfly following you around. Yes, I know. Okay, the first one I will enter will be. Turn, 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 turn. Two. Two. No, Idle Springs. <laughs> I read it as Tool two times in a row. Tool Springs. I'm actually playing this with a PS2 controller because I can't be bothered to get out the other one. Oh, there's little cutscenes every time you enter a level now because there's little people that you have to help in every level. Diapers. Hmm. Nope. Denied. Spyro, the idols we were carving have come to life. They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food. Okay. I only need 500 gems and then I'm leaving and coming back. Oh. What even is that? What even is that thing supposed to be? The little blue thing I just killed. I mean, I know it's fodder, but other than that. Yep, yep, yep. Big old idle head. It's angry. Okay. Woo, Spyro 2. How are you liking it so far? It's a pretty good game, but uh, I don't know. It's not as good as the first one. I don't know. I wouldn't have said that like when I was little. When I was little, I loved this game. I thought it, was, it might have been better than the first one, but uh, I don't know. Things change. And I, I never really got into Spyro 3 all that much. I think flipping. I must be sounding like a flipping broken record or something because uh, we're talking about the same freaking things every 10 seconds. Which is kind of what the uh, phrase applies to. 
Ah, come on, you stupid computer. I love how haphazardly I'm collecting these gems. Like, okay, I'll get those, and then I'll travel all the way across the room to get those, and then I'll get some of the other ones that I missed over here. So many gems. Oh, I missed one. Okay, 500, and um, I'll just get these ones. And then I'll uh, exit level. And that's just enough time for me to uh, uh, learn how to swim and then uh, end the level. I'm definitely going back there in the next video though, so not to worry. Also, this is going to be a 100% playthrough. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for... <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Okay. Basically, you jump above the water, you press square to dive underneath. These things, there are pots for underwater. And also, um, uh, yeah, I'll get this stuff later, but, um, here's something that's not really a secret, but, uh, it's a good thing to know. When I found out about it, I was like, oh, holy crap, and I kept coming back to it, and I thought it was, like, the neatest thing ever. Um, I don't know if I have time to collect all this crap before our, uh, the video ends, but I'll risk it. Trisk it. I don't know if you can kill those fish, but I don't think you have to anyway. They're not gonna harm me or anything. Uh, nothing up here. It's like a secret room. And then at the top, there's an orb. Uh, hello, orb. That makes four. B. Um, I have time to go back in here and do some damage. I've got three minutes. I was thinking I wouldn't, uh, I'm not going to replay the intro. What a stupid, uh, option that is. Come on, why? Okay, now, while he's doing that, I have the ability to go underwater and get all the gems in this place. How fleeping Nito is that? Yeah, I am in a good mood now because things have happened and things are good. Yes, yes indeed. Also no school tomorrow, which is also uh, a plus. Plus however many. Um, depending on how it goes. Almost missed this thing. Shoo! I have too much freaking saliva all the time. It's annoying. You can probably hear it in my voice sometimes when I'm like, kind of like slurring my speech. It's like, it's because um, saliva builds up really fast in my mouth sometimes and I know that's nasty, uh, but I don't really have any control over it and I can do nothing but, come on, go get, get away, I know. Something's metal, you have to charge it instead of flame it, I know. I played the first one. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, nasty things about me. Um, just go, go, little guy, go, come on. What is this? What is the, um, point of this big old clot of dirt here? Pshoom. You're dead. So what am I doing? Just getting back to the place I was before? No, I'm just getting a little bit further. Come on. I don't care. I know about the camera. You told me that already. I know you said to, to look around, triangle. What she was talking about just there is this. L2 and R2. Turn the camera. I'm basically just beating the level right here. But that's not all I'm gonna do. I might, should I record another one? 
If I record anything else today, it would be the Alien Hominid minigames. And I don't know with the, um, what's the word, uh, possibility of that might be. Okay, I fell. Whatever. This has been DBM playing Spyro 2 for the PS1. Um, yeah, okay, bye.